Right, let's start from here. So this is Pink Goa. It, it, it yielded almost like 250, 300 fruit fruits this year. Really good one. Uh, sweet and sour, okay? And this is a Mexican, I think Mexican sugar cane. Um, thriving really well. And uh, I have a couple of plants close to the fruit trees, close to the uh, pond. The one is Bonanza peach, which is always the dwarf. Um, I just planted, so I wanted to share it, okay? So for the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is coconut cream mango, you can see here. Uh, it almost like I got like 10 fruits this year. Really, really sweet and totally unique flavor, okay? Here I have my Kerry, beautiful Kerry mango. I planted recently, okay? Um, and this side is basically the flower side. I took all my flowers here. Okay, hibiscus, jasmine, and all this stuff. Now, this is giant mulberry. It's one of my best fruit here. Okay, and it never starts yielding during the season. This is another exotic fruit tree. Um, sugar jujube. This is not Lee or lime jujube. This is sugar jujube. Really, really sweet. Okay, so if you get a chance to uh, see this tree anywhere in the nursery, just go for it. Do not second guess on that. It's really sweet. I tasted the fruit, then I bought it. Okay, um, this is my Asian pears. Okay, this is my uh, Brazilian um, banana. Uh, this is Orient Co. If I'm pronouncing it right, this is Orient Co. Um, banana. Then I have my beautiful KD apricot. It is sad now. I planted recently, not only that, it's a due to heat. Um, hopefully it will come back good, but still it's a good tree, healthy tree. So that's a KD apricot. And this is a really sweet sugar cane. Sweet, sweet sugar cane. <laughs> And uh, I don't know whether this is Hawaiian or Mexican. But the green one is the best one here. And do you see them Pakistan mulberry? It's a beautiful, thriving good. And I tested a couple of times the fruits and a um, few fruits, like 10 to 15. Um, it was really good, okay, no complaint. And my Mexican papaya, the, the, the best fruit tree in my yard. And very, very sweet. I got almost like 20 to 22 of them. Um, that's really worth to uh, plant papaya. And uh, this space is for something new I'm bringing in, which is going to be yet another exotic fruit tree. I want to keep it surprise for now. But these two banana trees I'm going to plant, one in the east, other one in the west, uh, to share that actually. So it's going to build the microclimate. And look at this. This is my Imam Pasan mango. So it started losing um, its uh, nursery leaves, foliage, Florida foliages, and this the new growth that is coming in for Arizona. So, so far good. Hopefully it's will good. So I have to watch these plants every day, the foliages, to ensure that I'm doing it right. Um, so this is my Peter honey fig. It did not fruit much this year, so I have to see why, but uh, it's thriving well. And if I turn this way, which is south, you would see the big plant, okay? This is castor, one and a half years old tree, one year old tree. They grow crazy, okay? If you want the microclimate, this is the tree you need to bring in first. Now, this is a really good tree, but ensure that no, you don't have pets. If you have pets, don't leave them next to it because you have a lot of seeds. It's not good. People say it's a poison, okay? And this is sugar apple. Uh, the beautiful, beautiful tree. Um, it is a slow grower, first of all, we got to understand. And this is not a tree to grow in the desert. That we also we have to understand. Uh, it's a really, really challenging tree. I was almost in a decision like, see, two years on the ground. I was thinking, okay, um, Let's remove, um, it's not yielding any fruit, I, I've thought of removing that. But there it came, a couple of fruits and also look at the way it is growing. So, what made the difference is the microclimate. So, big thanks to the castor plant. I did not cover this the whole sun, okay, during the whole um, um, heat, okay, 118, 115, 110. I didn't cover this at all. And I do see some fruit. Guys, I'm seeing a sugar apple tree in my home after almost 25 years I had this long back back in my country it was hedge planted my home um, I had 10 plus fruit trees and every day it's a competition between me and the squirrels who's going to take the best fruit so every day I touch it I go back uh, when I go to school I kind of hold the fruit and ensure that you know it's almost ripening when I come back from the school uh, it's half eaten by the squirrels okay anyway but I'm very very happy that you know it's thriving knock on the hood hopefully it will grow good um, now, this side, 
I thought let me grow some vegetables. So I have some few vegetables coming in, thriving good, no complaints. Um, then let me move here. Barbados cherry. I planted recently. The reason for having this here is it's going to shade my, um, it's going to block the west ascent from my mango tree. So that means I'm going to grow it in a way I need not have it shared in the, the west side during the summer. Maybe the top should be good enough. Then I have my solo papaya. I just planted here to ensure that I get some good a tropical look for my seating area. Okay, I have my curry leaves. And this is a plant just um, to bring a look to my close seating area. So, okay, here is an interesting mango tri variety. This is HM mango. Um, patented in Florida, of course, one of the tree planted in Florida. The difference is this is totally unique. The size of the mango is be so big. Okay, bigger than um, the baseball. Um, now, I have my sapote. It's a two-year tree, okay? I'm keeping myself... Uh, I'm trying to be more patient on this tree, okay? I want to see how this is going to grow, but I heard that it takes three to four years. Uh, but any trees, sapote I've seen in back in my country, uh, it's very big, like... 20 years tree so but I want to give a chance to see that so what happens now I'm creating the microclimate for this with a mango not only this I planted a Cavendish uh, the dwarf banana I'm a Alapino a great plant okay um, this is uh, um, this is uh, red Malaysian guava okay I ate a lot of fruits it's really good now coming back so this tree is coconut cream my second coconut cream in the yard uh, the reason to plant it here is my huge mango, sorry, moringa tree, uh, which is like 18 months old. Uh, look at the trunk size, it's really big. The trunk size, if you look at the thickness, is uh, close to 6 inch. It's a miracle tree, seriously. And this is uh, protecting, uh, it's going to protect, of course, it's protecting uh, the coconut creams. After 2 o'clock, I don't get any sun on the plant, which is good for the sensitive um, coconut cream. Then I have my Kungura spinach. This is in steroids. Every time I cut it, it comes like seven feet within a month. Uh, maybe because of the mulch and all the stuff. So I have my fig brown turkey thriving really well. It's worth, worth. If I, if I recommend you guys the fig, three figs I would recommend. Brown turkey, black mission, and Peter honey. Really, really worth. And here is another interesting citrus variety. This is basically Miwa kumquat. Uh, one of the best um, um, kumquat, sweet and nice, and you can eat it um, straight with the skin, and it's really sweet. I tried this, um, it was really good, so I bought it. Um, it has been planted again recently. Then I have my Florida Prince Peach, uh, 15 gallon I planted uh, yesterday. Hopefully, uh, I'm expecting that to grow as a 24 gallon next to six months um, if I'm going to take care of it. Um, then I have another interesting plant here. It's a non-fruiting non tree and uh, it's not an edible tree. This is called uh, Princess Tree. Basically, iconic tree of um, Japan. My lentil tree, I put in beans, it's going to produce. And this is my, my red banana, very, very slow growing. It's a three, two years tree. Look at that. The whole lot of difference between what you saw, the Brazilian, Ranko, and this one. It's not growing. Okay, so let me give it a, give a chance for the next six months and that one I'm going to decide on this. And another beautiful mango tree called Cockshell. I bought it from Shemos uh, recently and I planted it. Uh, it's a 25 gallon. Um, looks good so far. Um, it was sad, very sad um, due to the Arizona weather when I bought it from him. Um, uh, now we want to show more love and see how this is going to grow. Um, then uh, uh, this is a low quad, okay still struggling uh, but I'm giving more chance for this to grow let's see how this is going to go um, another castor plant here to create a micro plant microclimate for my um, low quad um, these are lemon grasses you will see two lemon grasses I'm going to show a little later this is my white guava okay really really sweet and anytime it ripens just one fruit ripens the size of the it's going to be like a golf ball okay anytime it ripens the whole yard here half of the yard towards the west side till to the peter honey there and till to the moringa it really smells awesome okay 
that's the beauty of this plant and recently i planted that uh, apricot sorry excuse me this is aprium okay um the unique plant uh, which is basically the hybrid of apricot and um, plum the size of the fruit uh, would be like uh, of course the smaller than the uh, original traditional apricot um, but this is one of the best sweet plant i ever tested so most of the plants here are like you know kind of unique um, everything is very sweet with a with a unique flavor and taste um so so don't mind if i'm going to call everything as unique okay so these are the lemongrass i have uh rosemary they are in steroids look at that height <laughs> now it's growing six feet almost like within three to four months actually these guys so that's my art for now uh, for this season 2017 um fall the i would be adding one more plant one more fruit tree um which is basically the white grower that i tasted in the nursery Whitfield nursery it was awesome really really awesome so i fell in love and i'm going to get that soon so other than that pretty much what we've seen here has been planted and there's one more need to plant which is the exotic plant i was talking about in the middle of the yard there but i have no bananas so that will be doing in next one month so you'll get the new video thank you for watching